This video will assist you in applying the four-piece Fender Graphics Kit produced by Power Sports Wraps. What you'll find in this video uh, are some simple tips on how to have a, a successful uh, application. The tools you need are all the same from the rest of our videos. You want to make sure that you prep the su surface correctly uh, prior to starting your application. Uh, once you have the surface prepped, the first item you're going to put on is the front uh, graphic piece as the one shows in the video just below the light. You're going to watch the body lines uh, of the unit. Uh, most importantly is basically the leading edge of the bottom of the fender. You want to have just a little bit of uh, uh, actual surface showing and work your way across that bottom edge uh, and then working your way from center to the outside edges. Uh, this is the first piece you apply um, because the remainder of the pieces will be laid over top of this one to complete um, a, a whole image view. Once you have the first uh, piece applied, then the next piece is going to be the side uh, near that marker light. When you begin your application, you're going to start at the front tip and you should have a little bit of an overlap from the piece on the front, your first piece. And you're going to line up using the bottom edge as your guideline. You'll also be able to use uh, the cutout around the light to make sure that you're uh, in the right area as you apply. You will work your way from the front uh, over top of the wheel well, watching the leading edge, the lower edge um, of that fender well, uh, making sure you're just along that edge, maybe a hair above the edge, uh, as you go around the curve of the fender towards uh, the back of the bike. Uh, once you have uh, this basically down, you're along the, uh, that edge, then you're going to work from basically the bottom to top and uh, rubbing the uh, material down to the surface and then rolling it up and over that top edge. Uh, on occasion, when you get the uh, material down towards the bottom edge where we are now towards the back, you may have to just do a little bit of trimming um, to the decal itself. And then you can see as we work it, uh, up and over the top uh, of that fender to complete that application. Okay, so you have your front piece on, now you have the side piece on, so now we start uh, up on the top. You're going to uh, line up the top decal with the body line that goes around the light. Uh, make sure that you're overlapping the front piece and you're going to use the center body line um, of the fender to line up that edge of the decal with as you work your way up and over the top. Of course the decal should uh, wrap up and over the side decal to um, have no gap. And then what you'll do is once it's basically down and you're running along that inside edge, making sure the decal lines up with it evenly, you can start from your center and work your way to the outside, just like you see in, in the video. Uh, squeegee works pretty good in this uh, type of application because you can use your hand to pull it out like we're doing and uh, rolling it over the top. You should have uh, hardly any, if at all, any kind of um, bunching in this type of material. Right here you could, if you wanted to, apply a little bit of heat. That would help to push out the vinyl and keep it flat and also seal to the top of uh, the piece that has already been applied. So you're just going to continue to work your way from the center out uh, using the techniques that, that we've described uh, as you work your way down towards the bottom. When you get down towards the bottom, you may have to pick the material um, up and uh, use a little bit of force in, in stretching or what you call working the film. Um, like you see here in the video, you're pulling with both hands evenly, making sure that you're lining up with that uh, center edge uh, of the material. So it may take a couple attempts. Um, as you'll see, the film is quite flexible and works uh, pretty easy in being able to do that. Uh, if you're having a little bit of a tough time, you can always use heat. And then basically on the, on the same thing here on the inside piece, you're just uh, repeating the same step as far as uh, how to line it up and how to work the film down into position as well. A couple points of interest as you watch this uh, other section being applied for the, the spider. Um, we have uh, quite a few different uh, plans for various 
schematics and graphic styles available for the spiders that will be uh, made into kits. Uh, some of the things you should know is number one, if you have a, a, an idea for graphics, you can always uh, send us an email request and we can see if we can accommodate you. I'll be more than happy to try to help you out as far as that concerns. Um, we have accepted other folks' artwork and incorporated it in uh, or taken their ideas and, and you know, made it happen as far as uh, turning it into a graphics kit for the spider. Um, these products are probably the least expensive investment you can have in um, changing the appearance of the spider. With regard to cost and um, uh, visual enhancement that really sets your spider apart from uh, anyone else's that you might be with. Um, so keep that in mind that uh, this is a great way to express yourself without spending a ton of money. And of course uh, as you've seen in our other videos it's changeable copy so you can always uh, have it on for a while and then um, remove the graphics without doing any damage to the factory surface and then put a different style kit on to uh, change it up for the next season. So it's quite versatile. Um, it's quite durable as far as um, how well the material uh, is made. It's a combination of two films, the, the base uh, graphic film with a top uh, laminate that protects the surface. So give us a call if you have any ideas. In the photo here you see the finished uh, product. The final um, thing that you want to do uh, is displayed here where you would use the heat to go back and uh, seal your surfaces and uh, you've got a successful application that's there to stay uh, until you determine that you want to remove it. So if there's any way that we can help you out, just contact us at uh, powersportswraps.com and the uh, phone number is published there. We hope this has been helpful.